Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Medical Minute with Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group. And today we are sitting down with Dr. Jamie Friedman to talk about ACL injuries. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Of course. So just to kick things off, let's talk about what the ACL is. The ACL, also known as the anterior cruciate ligament, is a double bundle structure in the middle of the knee. You can see here on this model that it connects the femur, the thigh bone, to the tibia, the shin bone. It's one of the four main ligaments of the knee that provide us stability. In particular, the ACL helps us from stabilizing the tibia or shin bone from going too far forward. It also helps with rotation and side-to-side -side stability as well. Okay. And I feel like I hear about ACL injuries all the time. So what are the most common ways that people do injure it? Surprisingly, the most common way to injure your ACL is a non-contact activity. So this is caused by pivoting, such as what we see on the soccer field when a player cuts or goes for the ball. We see it very commonly in Colorado with skiers too. Sometimes we can occasionally see them with a trauma such as a motor vehicle collision as well. And I'm sure people are wondering what the symptoms are so they can maybe spot it early and come in for treatment. So what are those symptoms? Typically when a patient injures their ACL, they may feel or even hear a pop in their knee, which is followed by immediate swelling of the knee joint. The swelling may be so severe that they have trouble bending or straightening their knee. They may also feel that their knee is giving way or feels like they can't trust their knee as they walk or do certain activities. This is a symptom caused by the instability from injuring this ligament. And if people come into you and they want to see maybe, do I have an ACL injury, how do you guys diagnose that? So typically an ACL injury can be diagnosed on exam in the clinic but we'll almost always also get an MRI to look at the integrity of the ACL ligament as well as make sure there aren't other structures injured that we can take care of at the same time that we would take care of the ACL. You know, nobody wants to have to get surgery, but sometimes it, it is going to come to that. So how do you guys know when it is time to do a surgery? So it's almost unavoidable to uh, uh, not have ACL surgery after a complete rupture. Mm -hmm. We all know our beloved quarterback, uh, John Elway, who did win two Super Bowls without an, in, an intact ACL, but for most athletes, they're not going to be able to return to sport due to persistent instability. So we almost always have to go to surgery. What is the recovery time looking like for that? So after surgery, the patient will be placed in a brace and do physical therapy within their first week. They'll work on range of motion and strengthening exercises of the lower extremity over the following few months. At about three months or so, most patients can jog or run in a straight line, and over the next four to six months, we add in things like jumping and pivoting. At about six months, most patients return to full activity. However, for elite athletes, it can take nine to 12 months before they return to the same level of play before the injury happened. Thank you so much for all of that information today. Of course. And as always, you can go online to seesog.net for more information about Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group. And all of that information is up on your screen right now, and this segment has been sponsored by Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group.